Hey, this is Daryl Webster answering a question in the Office 365 Technical Network. Beth's got a question about OneNote, and she's trying to share a notebook by sending an email invite. And sometimes she can, and sometimes she can't. Um, there's a point here that you've mentioned, Beth, where SharePoint is not being used um, to share the note or to have the notebook located in it. So um, I just want to illustrate this, and I thought I'd use OneNote to do so. So just pre-drawn some characters there, and I'm just signifying here that OneNote is sitting in SharePoint. So while it is in SharePoint, we can send a link to the notebook and share it. Um, likewise with uh, OneDrive, that we can also share it from there. So what's happening when we're sharing it is we're in fact setting permissions within either OneNote, uh, within OneDrive or within SharePoint and we're also recording the link to the notebook and then we're capturing that in an email and either OneDrive or SharePoint is sending that and it's going through to our user. So the permissions are being set based on the email address in OneDrive perhaps we're sharing it and expecting the user to have a Microsoft account so that they can access the uh, document depending on the permissions we've set or with SharePoint we might also be using expecting the user to have a Microsoft account or they already have a SharePoint account. Now if we have that OneNote notebook sitting in a file share the, the catch there is that OneNote doesn't know how to set permissions on a file server and knows how to do that for OneDrive and it knows how to do that for SharePoint but it, it can't um, change permissions on a file server and it can't assume also that the notebook is accessible to the internet via that, via that file server so it's looking to share a link which has to be HTTP based not um, file server based so if we have that notebook let's just go into the um, anatomy of it a bit and uh, ooh, drag that on down here to what a notebook might look like to give us a better understanding of, about what a notebook is it's not just a word document it's not a single file but when you go into a notebook um, it is literally a folder with sections and with pages and um, if we have section groups then the sections will also be grouped in a folder so this notebook has to live in either OneDrive or SharePoint. Um, we can save it to a file server, so there is that experience, and we can share it um, with other methods um, when it's on a file server. However, if you want to share it via an email, you've got to have a link, and you've also got to have it in a place where OneNote can set those permissions. So those permissions, um, if we do have a quick look, if I have a look at my own one, I'll share that notebook. The notebook is actually communicating with the, uh, in this case, OneDrive uh, on my uh, site at Share the Point. And it's reading the permission saying that I'm the owner of the notebook and it's also shared with external users based on um, the folder they've put it in. And so when I click the Share button or maybe I invite another person into that notebook then it's going to adjust the permissions on SharePoint in this case. So hopefully that's explained it a little more that the notebook is best to be located in either SharePoint or OneDrive to be able to email a link to the notebook and to set the sharing permissions for that notebook.